Putting a limit on yourself puts a limit on the God you serve. If you are serving the same Elohim as Paul, who said, I can do all things through Messiah who strengthens me. If you serve that same Elohim, then regardless of the circumstances, you can do all things. Referring back to the stepping out of the boat. They was in the midst of the storm. <coughs> Waves, wind, rain. They think they see a spirit. Yeshua identifies himself and Peter says, bid me come. He steps out on the water. The legitimate question you can ask is, why, what was the other disciples doing? What were they doing? We don't know. They're more than likely to still be in the boat, fearful, because now they've seen a spirit and Peter walking on the water with the spirit. But Peter... He had the kind of faith of a child. Now, you, if you've been here, you would have seen my child Eden. Now, when we go home, anything that I do before I've finished the, the words that come out of my mouth, she's telling me she wants to do it. <laughs> she wants to do it. She wants to have some. If I say I'm just going, she's already said, I want to come. I'm just, I'm just getting my shoes on. Can I come? I just want to, I want to come. Can I do it? Can I, can I, can I? That's the faith of a child. You want the thing that I'm about to eat before you even know what I'm going to eat. That's a child's faith. Peter had that kind of faith. He, see Messiah, he identifies, that's my master Yeshua. Can I come on the water with you? He gets out of the boat and what happens? He looks down. He identifies. Hold on a minute. I'm walking on water. Human beings don't do this. And then he falls. So Mashiach holds him with his hand. And to this day, we have to come to the conclusion. There ain't, I can't think of another one who has done what Peter did. Maybe there is. Maybe you'll find a, a video on YouTube um, of someone else doing it. But to this day, what can that tell us about situations? If you're rolling with the master, if you're rolling with the king, that's the best place to be. The best place to be is in the hands of the father, no matter what it looks like. If you're in his hands, his hands are where the protection is. His hands is where the provisions is. His hands is where your healing is. And sometimes we can look around the hands and perceive that that place where he is, is too dangerous for us. The Bible lets us know that he will prepare a table in the midst of our enemies for us. He will take us through the valley of the shadow of death. Now you may want to go another way. You may think, I don't want to go this way. This way looks scary, this way looks dangerous, but that's the way he's going. That's the best place for you to be, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm.